Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I set up ChatGBT API on a Raspberry Pi 4. It was simple and I'll show you how it works. I'm going to list the steps that I took to get it to work. I'm going to create a GitHub with all the steps that I listed, including the code to get this to work. So uh, what, what you're going to need to get this to work is a Raspberry Pi 4, right? Then uh, you're going to need uh, to take that Raspberry Pi 4, set it up, make sure it's connected to the internet. Uh, you want to update uh, all the packages on that Raspberry Pi 4. You want to make sure you have the newest version of uh, Python 3 on your Raspberry Pi. You have to make sure you install PIP, P-I-P, uh, then you have to install the OpenAI. Again, I'm going to leave a link to that GitHub, which will show you how to set all this up in the description. In this video, I'm just going to show you the code and, and uh, the code running with the open ai api key so let me open up my code here so i can show you and open up the code right now so i can show you i installed a visual studio code on a raspberry pi i have a video on this channel if you want to learn how to install visual studio code on your raspberry pi so this is the code i used the uh, chat GPT to generate this code and uh this here is uh what you're gonna need to get this to work this is my api key i'm gonna uh deactivate this one so if you guys try to run it it's not going to work i'm just using it for the video for demonstrational purposes but again you're going to need a api key to get this to work to get the api key you have to sign up to open ai then uh, you have to link uh i believe a credit card and uh then this will work and all right so we're ready to run the code and this code is basically going to act like chat gbt and act like a chatbot and it's going to use the chat gbt api to answer all your questions so let's run let's see if it works right down here it's asking me for my input it's uh, i'm the user now it's asking me for the input so i'm going to type something in i uh, i'm going to type in uh hello and i'm gonna hit enter let's see what happens and it said hello how are you i'm good how are about you uh it said I, i'm good thank you for asking okay so basically this is chat gbt 3.5 that we're talking to right now and um it's connected again to your api it will charge you it's very very cheap it's a fraction of a fraction of a penny for uh for like one uh i believe uh one fetch to their servers it's really cheap you'll see and uh I, I was uh, messing around with this for hours and I probably I get I think I was charged like 10 cents so it's very cheap but let's let's ask it a more or interesting question something like you would ask ChatGPT, uh, who is Obama asked who is Obama it said Barack Obama is an American politician who served as the 44th president of the United States in 2009 to, to, to 2017 so basically yeah it, it it's pretty quick and it's great and the the thing that uh, what what makes this very powerful is it's not that it could act like a chatbot that's great I mean you can use ChatGPT for, for free if you want a chatbot what this does is this remember this is a Raspberry Pi with uh, GPI open so you can create a uh, a smart uh, robot basically like or smart robotics where it, it has access to ChatGPT, and then the ChatGPT will control the gpi open so very interesting very cool and i'm very excited to start my journey creating robots that are ChatGPT powered so very cool all right so this is pretty much it for this video so basically i'm going to leave a link to my github in that github you'll find all the details and all the links that you need to get this to, to work all the code and including this code and uh, all the imports that you're going to need to get this to work. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. I'm Rasim from Tech.com, and thank you guys for watching.